When it comes to being at the gym, some days your legs or sometimes there's just not enough time for you to get up and down, but you still want to work those abs. And so for today, I'm going to show you modification for basic exercises that we do at the gym that you can get the same impact and do it standing. So number one, instead of doing a traditional Russian twist, we're going to get you standing and you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart and you're going to be doing the twist. Okay, so you can see that my abs are tight right here. My arms are out like I'm doing a Russian twist, but I want you to get the whole body involved. So you're gonna be pivoting at the hips and pivoting at the toes. That's gonna to be your standing Russian twist. A staple to any workout program is doing the crunches. Now again, we might have troubles getting down and up off the floor, or maybe we just don't wanna go down there because our knees are bothering us. So instead of doing the traditional crunch, all you're gonna do, put your hands on the side of your head and you're gonna focus on muscle engagement. So your feet are shoulder width apart and you're focusing on squeezing and sucking that belly button in at the same time you're engaging your abs. So this is going to be a standing crunch. When it comes to any like side water bugs or a side crunch you can do the same thing where you're down here so you're going to feel that stretch and then you're going to come and squeeze on this side. So the focus is on this side. You can grab a weight if you want but otherwise we're gonna focus on squeezing this side, like a standing crunch, we're doing a standing side crunch. You hit both sides, you're gonna hit those obliques. When it comes to working the obliques, where we're doing like a side to side crunch, or we're gonna do a right arm to left elbow crunch, where we're working the sides of our obliques, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it standing. Now, we've done the crunch like this, we've done the side crunch like this, now we're gonna throw in a bit of a twist. So it's the same thing as you go down, you're gonna engage those muscles, but we're gonna work the same muscles that we would work if we're laying on the floor. You just have to have more mind-body connection so that you can work those obliques or the sides of your abs. So a traditional bicycle crunch where we're rotating our upper torso to meet our lower torso, like we're riding on a bike, but we're actually laying on our floor and we're engaging the abs. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it standing. And it's gonna be like doing the elbows to knees. So when you bring the knee up, you bring that elbow across the body so that we're getting that riding a bicycle motion side to side, getting the obliques, getting the abs involved, but we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna do it standing.